Welcome to the Games Freezer. Hello, it's Richard, it's Games Freezer, and this is the 10 minute taster. And this time I will be looking at Earhart Towels of Broken Wings. And this is on the PlayStation 4. So, uh, what's this all about then? Well, let's have a little looky, shall we? Um, I've received this about a couple of weeks or so ago and uh, fell in love with the art style immediately. Um, it's lovely to look at, so I thought I've got to give it a go. So, the start and the tutorial sets the scene. Free from the dangers below. The last time I saw him, he was waving goodbye as I flew over the walls of the spire. So it sounds like you lost your dad. I quickly discovered that surviving in Granaria's underside is nothing. And you're living in Granaria. Sky fishing is a way of life up here. So Despite the main the mechanic pilots, here is obviously flying planes and, and upgrading that plane that you, you, that you fly. And also doing something called sky fishing, which is basically scooping up these uh, fish, and uh, they double up as currency. Your ultimate aim, basically, is to reach that sky well. The sky well resides at the top of the sky, um, and in a minute we'll see how we get up to that sky well. Although I won't probably make it up there on this go through, but um, you'll get the gist of it once we uh, have a look through. So this is the kind of uh, upgrade shop, basic weaponry that you can uh, that you can buy, different parts for planes so you can mix and match um, different items, whether they be um, the engine, guns, um, different pieces that you can add on to your uh, onto your plane. As you can see the art style is pretty striking, it's a really nice um, effect, visual effect they've gone for. Uh, it actually reminds me a bit of um, uh, Borderlands kind of uh, style. So this is the kind of tutorial flight test that I'm going to take you through. So as you can see how you sit out on your journey. It's actually a roguelike so uh, you're going to do a fair bit of uh, shooting and dying um, and obviously run based game so as you'll uh, sort of go out there do a bit of fishing if you feel like you're going to explode at some point then uh, you're going to have to make it back to base in order to retain what you've collected on your journey it's a twin stick shooter um, mechanic um, that actually does take quite a bit of practice to get used to but I would say recommend that you would put in the uh, put in the time just to get used to it because once you do get used to it then it's a pretty good mechanic um, I've seen people um, sort of call out that that is a flaw with the game but I don't think they've put in enough time to the game in order to uh, fully appreciate the uh, the nature of the the controls because they can feel a bit upside down lopsided a bit when you first start out but yeah you'll get used to it so you uh you fly with one stick um aim your gun with the other um and like i say once you get used to it you can pull off some uh, pretty nifty maneuvers so we're just going through our paces just to ask me to collect a few bits of junk in the sky and then go through those arches um, just to show a bit of uh, dexterity in the air as I crash straight into my instructor. And uh, those are those fish that you'll be looking to go after when you're released out into the world with your fishing license. So um, we've been tasked with getting three of those. Pretty easy. There you go. Um, okay, so now they're looking to test you on um, your shooting skills. So this is where the game comes into its own as far as um, utilising the flying mechanic alongside your shooting um, reticule. Is that the right way of saying it? Reticule? 
or is it reticule? 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 Don't know. Anyway, it's a good shot. Um, so yeah, so they, this is what it's testing now. How where you can fly and shoot. Flying and shooting. Oh, as I crash twice into the uh, rock. And then have a guard me in structure at the same time. Right, come on in. If we can get those uh, little drones. Right, so that's that done. Okay, so now I've got to unblock this portal by taking the uh, drones out. More drones, droning on. Some of those Amazon drones. Do they still use those Amazon drones to deliver? Um, anyway. Okay, so there we go. So that's my drones done. Um, so now we're going to be testing my harpooning skills. So the harpoon is not something that I have used much other than in the tutorial yet. So you fire the harpoon and you sort of fly away and drag whatever you've uh, attached your harpoon to off of... Uh, off of said object, in this case, the uh, oh, there we go. In this case, it's the relay. So, right, so we've removed all of the uh, shields. Um, we're now free to use our fishing license. Oh, yes. Let's have a little fly around. See if I can pick up any other little fishy wishies. Each type of fish is worth something different. If I can just go, oh, he's, he's done me. Why, you little get back here? There we go. And a nice crash into my uh, instructor. Right, so yeah, so you pull down on the D pad to make your way home because home is where the heart is and it's also where your workshop is um, that you'll be able to attach items to your plane. Um, that can make your life easier. And the thing is, you've got to be able to afford those items um, through the fish that you catch. So at the minute, I've only got $77. So I need more fish. Um, yeah, once you get the items, then you'll be able to switch between them on that hanger um, screen. And then away you go. Right, so this is my next run. Here we go. I can catch that sky whale no matter the cost. Bring on the sky whale. I know I'm in. Bring on the sky whale. Here she comes. Right, I'm in the air. Go and get some fishy wishies. So this is the first kind of layer of the sky or level of the sky, should we say? Lowest level with no real threats here. You're just kind of flying around to uh, test out your newfound flying skills, test out your fishing license, make sure everything's in order. Fly through trees with uh, golden canopies in order to um, produce some scrap metal and some life, which we don't need right now. Get some more fishy wishies. Got 86 at the minute, so that's not so bad. Missed that bad boy. Missed it. Right, okay. Any more little fishy wishes? No? Anything in the canopies? No, right, okay. We see what's happening up above. Down below. No, you're too slow. There it is. Right, let's hit the boost. Up we go to Cherry Blossom Yard 2. Sky Layer 2. Right, here we come. Let's get some more fishy wishes. Bit more hostile up here. You'll have uh, planes shooting at you, like him. You can tell he's hostile because he's got the red sort of life bars around him. Um, anything in green is non-hostile. But also beware of shooting anyone with a green life bar, as if you do so, like that, you get the police on your ass. And they are relentless, so be careful. They can shred your plane 
like that. I'm going to need to return home immediately. So when you return home, you've got to sort of dodge these uh, floating islands. Make sure you get back in one piece. And then once you're back home, then you have uh, you get to keep what you scavenged on that run. So you can see the pattern here, the, the play pattern. Go on a run, collect enough to upgrade. Use the upgrades wisely to make life easier for you when you're out on your run. And then uh, you'll go further. So uh, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Nice bit of uh, roguelite. That's uh, a bit of canopy shopping. Uh, yeah, don't really need that, but thought I'd collect it. Another fish. Okay, we kind of know the coup down here. So, yeah, let's crash into someone who's going to take life off me. Any crash will take like a one heart away from you. Which can be a right pain in the ass, actually. Right, so we've got that kind of tower defence drone over there. The problem is I've got this piddly uh, pea shooter of a gun. So in order to sort of shoot things, you've got to be so accurate because you, otherwise it's just not happening. And this is kind of... Oh, bollocks. This is where the bloody police come into it again. I'm so not accurate with that... Oh, God, with a pea shooter that end up shooting other uh, friendlies. And the police are on my ass. God, I'm smoking again. Let's right, see if I can stay in the air. Get a fish or two. Come on, there's normally some life around any level. So don't ditch the plane too early because you never know. There might be something just around the corner as I shoot another friendly. I'm not doing myself any favours here, am I? Ah, right, see that tree canopy. There we go. That's better. Up to eight. It's a bit more respectable. Not great. And then I'll crash into a trick health canister. Great. So those trick ones, I think you shoot them and they give you um, life, I think. But I won't take the chance with only two hearts. But we're going to go up, up, up where the air is clear. Let's go fly a kite. Right, now we're up here. Uh, okay. Now these, there should be more fish up here. More hostiles, as you can see. There's firing out um, all sorts. So I better get back before I die. Ooh. That's it. Right, safely return home with 67 earnings. So if I can add that to my last run, maybe, just maybe, I can afford a machine gun to upgrade my piddly pop gun. Hell yeah! Machine gun in the hizzle. Right, there we go. No, not there. Hanger. Okay. Weapon. Machine gun. Right, let's get back on the saddle. Let's get into the air, boy. There be fish out there. That's a right on mix of accents. Right, okay, up. Where the air is clear. Let's go fly a kite. Let's see if I can pick up a few more fishies. Show you how much easier it is as well to defeat the uh, tower when you've got a machine gun. That's it, only a few hits and away you go. Got that piece of scrap. All that for a piece of scrap. Scrap comes into its own because you can actually do some crafting with those items that you collect as you're out, out and about. Um, so yeah, worth picking up whatever you can, obviously. And the police are on me again. I'm a, like the most wanted boar in the skies. Oh god. I'm not helping myself by crashing into bloody um, these floating islands. Right, should we go up a level? Hell yeah, we should get away from the popo. Right, level three. 
This is Richard. This is Games Freezer. It's a 10 minute taster. www.gamesfreezer.eu <laughs>